So like I had got a phone call. What I was saying was we go back we go back there because we know we're the first one back there trying to see what's going on with the cake. You see every other cake and every other pie back there but ours. Like what the hell? So we first went in the line. We go to the um to the front. And we asking the ladies because it always be it be a a lady and her daughter back there serving the food and they be the first ones back there. So we like um my mom say uh I'm uh I'm, I'm kind of looking for my pie. Yeah, I don't, I don't see my pie back here. She said oh girl this your pie. She went and got the pie out her bag, bro. They been taking the pies home. They been sneaking and taking the pies home. Nobody ain't been eating the pies. Talking about, ooh, girl, this your pies? Ooh, they girl, they girl, you can cook some pie. Nigga, you stealing. You was stealing. This, and this was really, I said this because this what actually goes on in church, but it be more. It be worse than that. Folks be actually stealing money in the church, bro. Folks, money be going missing in the church. These people stole pie, taking the pie home. My mom making the pie for the church. They going to taking the pie home for themselves, bro. This is what goes on. That's why I said, that's how you know that the church is wicked. The Most High not dealing with the church because the Most High say he dwelleth not in temples made with hand. So if you go into church on Sundays, you put your Sunday's best on, your grandma putting a big hat on, hey, the Most High not in there. The Most High is not dwelling inside those churches. He's not in there. And you got pastors like this. You got pastors like this trying to, um, read. he ain't reading the Bible to you. He ain't telling you nationality. He ain't telling you nothing, bro. Who is this man? Why this man, this man might be, who this man is? He got a lot of pictures on Google. Who this man is? I don't know. I don't even know this man. I don't know him. Never seen him a day before in my life, but he got a lot of pictures on here. But, yeah, man, the church, let me show you this video. This is what goes on in the Christian church. I'm going to show you a video, a prime example what goes on in the Christian church. Right here. This is what goes on in the Christian church. There you go. Ready? And First and foremost, why is this man jump roping? Where is the Bible at? The Bible is nowhere to be sight, in sight. I don't see the Bible nowhere. This man, they got their jump roping in the, in the church. Instead of teaching your people their nationality, it's like, it's like a joke, bro. It's like a joke to them. Here we go. You're going to jump in when I say we're still trying to get you in. All right. Amen. We all have the same condition. We need to get in. Do y'all know each other? Do you know her? She just told him you got to move back. She's setting some instructions up here. I thought she knew him. She said you're going to have to move back. Why is she giving him instructions? Because she really wants to get in this thing. Let's go. Ready to go jump. Man. Okay. Put your hands up sister. Get ready. Go. The sister got pants on. The brothers don't got no fringes on. But this man decided to jump rope on Sunday in a building made with hands. Okay, now let me tell you. Let me tell you what's wrong with you. Jump the rope. Jump the rope. Watch me. Ready? Y'all jump. See, she's trying to get in like this. She's, you, you got to get ready. If God's going to bless you, you got to get ready. You got to anticipate it. You got to move so that when it happens, you got to be able to move. You got to anticipate. You can't, you can't get God like this. You know your prayer. See that? I'm talking about the cross. Check this out. It's another reason why we got the Christian church right here. It's an idol. If you didn't know, the cross is an idol. The cross that everybody wear around their neck, the cross that be on the top of the Christian church is an idol. And the Lord shall... Oh, slide here. Deuteronomy 20 and 64. And the Lord shall scatter you among all the people from the one ends of the earth, even to the other. And there you shall serve other gods. Nah, hold on, slide here. And there you shall serve other gods which neither nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. So that wood, that wood that is talking about is the cross. Don't a lot of a lot of people have wooden crosses in their yard, bro. The Christian church have it don't be wooden, but it's a cross. And that's an idol. A cross is an idol. They be having wooden crosses outside in the grass, bro. Let me show you something.
So they have wooden crosses inside the church too. Boom. Wooden cross. And people be bound down to that cross. That's going off, bro. You can't have wooden cross. That's an idol. And he told us we're going to, once we, if we didn't keep the commandments, we was going to come over here. We're going to be scared among all the other nations. And we're going to serve God's wood and stone. This is an idol. Our, our, our cross is an idol, bro. You know what I'm saying? And they, 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 they what they got in their churches. These are idols. All these, and by every church got a cross on it, bro. It that is coincidence that everybody, every church got a cross on it, bro. You gotta say church is Christian because they'll pull up church is chicken if you don't put the Christian on the end. But why does it? It ain't a coincidence that coincidence that every church got cross got a cross outside of the church, bro. Like it ain't a coincidence. Every church got a cross outside outside the church. That's an idol. That's an idol. The most high gonna destroy these churches, bro. Got all these idols outside the church, man. The most high gonna destroy these churches, bro. Gonna straight put them. They go something up there. Gonna straight destroy them. That's an idol. The most high not dealing with these churches, man. That's why he said he not dealing with no. He already knew. That's why he said that. He already knew that this was gonna happen. That's why he said he don't dwell in temples made with hand. You know. He don't dwell with temples made with hand. And I'm going to do another video going into the Holy Ghost. Because the Holy Ghost that the people be catching in the church, I'm going to go into, is that spiritual? I mean, um, is that spiritual? Is that, is that from the Most High? Is the Most High really putting the Holy Spirit on them to do that? Or is it an evil spirit on them? I'm going to get that next um, going to the, the churches. Because I'm gonna, I might do a whole series apart. Well, another it might, I only might do two. This one and another one. Going to the churches. It's a lot of stuff that goes on in the church, man. And the most high not dealing with these churches, bro. He not dealing with these wicked pastors either. That's misleading the sheep. It's a uh dang I forgot the precept going into that. It's a lot of pastors misleading the sheep, man. Uh, uh allowing the sheep to go astray. Because our our people listen to these pastors, but these pastors is not telling our people what they need to hear to get salvation. They our people think they just gotta do good. Just, just to come to church on Sunday. They be wicked as hell the whole week. But then, in the whole weekend, they done went to the club. They done got high. They done got drunk. The sister done had sex with multiple men. Then, she decide that, oh, she gonna wake up and go to church. And then do the same thing she done all over again. It's wicked. And that's what the church allow. The church is allowing homosexuals to come into the church and dwell in them. He not rebuking them. He not telling them if you don't repent, you're going to be destroyed. He not telling them that. He allowing homosexuals and uh, interracial marriage couples to come into the church freely. Talking about some come as you are. Where in the scriptures does it say come as you are? You know, so the, the church got a lot of, you no, know, the church going to have to pay. Pastor going to have to pay. Joel Austin going to have to pay. T.D. Snakes going to have to pay. Bishop Eddie Long going to have to pay. All these pastors that's misleading the sheep. Even these local pastors as well. They're going to have to pay, man. They're going to have to pay. And it was an account, too, with Joel Austin. I think it was a, a, a earthquake. No, it wasn't an earthquake. It was a, a storm. It was some type of bat. It was like a sun had happened. And, and people were trying to come into his church because it was some bat. I, I, I think it was a, um, a, what's it a, I forgot what it was that happened in Texas. I thank you from Texas. Something had happened in Texas when people were trying to come in his church for shelter. He wouldn't allow nobody to come into his church for shelter. But this man got this big ass church. Look at this. This man got this big church with all man. Imagine how much money he making, bro. Imagine 